<laughs> it's weird, isn't it? What's going on in the world? <laughs> Went out the other night with the lads. Um, you know, there's a few of us, you know, young, free and single. You Must can... look like the swingers. Oh, it was pretty. It looked like a boy band had gone out. It looked like, really? It looked like, you know, in sync and hit oh, the streets. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A friend of mine said, let's go to a club. Right, I haven't been to a nightclub for a long time. I haven't been. Is that because your glasses steam up when you walk in out of the cold? That is a problem in the winter. I genuinely, it's not, it's very difficult to make a good impression. When you, as you walk in, your glasses steam up straight away, and you know you you got to take them off and clean them and stuff, and then you know you get a bit. Oh, your wife runs. You pull your wife runs up yeah. through the jeans, yeah. clean them on that, or the back of a girl's dress. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we cruise down to the club. It's one of those big sort of London super clubs, and uh, it's a bit of a queue. I think it's a bit of a chore. But we're queuing up, we're in good spirits, we're looking at it, it sounds pretty funky, we can hear the music coming out. You know, we've been in the queue for quite a while, 20, 25 minutes. Forget it, 25 minutes. Well, yeah, we were pretty excited by this point. The doorman says, uh, hello lads. He said, yeah, we're coming, please. He went, no, you're not. I went, really? What? He said, we're not, you're not coming in. And he just immediately lifted a little rope and sent us away from the queue, right? And we were slightly perplexed, we were, we were dumbfounded. We didn't know what to do, we, we, it was like this, it, this it couldn't be happening, it didn't make sense. We just que queued up what was going on. And so, um, my friend said, well, we've got to find out why you're not going to let us in. So he goes yeah. back over. I thought you wanted to do. You wanted to tie him up with logic. That'll show a bouncer. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, show him how educated you are and how you can win an argument and make him look stupid. You'll be in that club in no time. <laughs> That's what they appreciate. <laughs> they love her. Because what they respect is being made to look like a fool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we went over and... Uh... <laughs> they, they really look up to intellectuals. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> so one of our mates goes over and he says... Uh, why didn't you let us in? And he went, because you didn't have any girls with you. No. <laughs> no, I'll tell you this. That's kicking you when you're down. Because when you're out on a Saturday night trying to get into a club to meet women, and the reason you're not allowed to go in a club to meet women is because you haven't got any women with you, that's just salt in the wound. It's so humiliating. So um, a friend of mine says that there's a VIP entrance over there. There was like a woman with a clipboard, you know, the guest list. Uh, separate entrance. She said, you know, you've got a little bit of profile, Steve. Why don't we try and use your... You ran out and got your golden globe in your Emmy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I always uh, I always carry, uh, you know, some of my cuttings with me. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, uh, so, and I felt a bit self-conscious about that. I was thinking, I'm not into this, you know, it's a bit awkward. But he said, look, don't worry, you just stand here. Just stand here, just like you're having a conversation. I'll go over, I'll say, I'll point him out, I'll go, oh, there's you know, Steve Merchant over there, at the office. Oh, God, Steve! So I thought, well, you know, well, the thing is, we were out, and I was I was a bit frustrated, and I thought, you know, uh, we may as well try everything. So um, so I stand there, <laughs> my friend goes over, and he has a word, and he comes back, and he says, uh, it's fine. She's, she can't let us in the VIP entrance because she's not allowed, but what she can do is walk us to the front of the queue, right? And walk in front of the queue and explain. So I think, okay, fine. Oh, God. So oh. we walk past everyone else, right, to the front of the queue, right? She goes up to the guy. She says, uh, this is Steve Merchant, office. The guy goes, I know he is. We're not letting him in. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> By now, of course, some people have recognised me. So they're having, trying to have my photo taken. So there's people inside the uh, line that's being allowed in the club. I've got to lean across the rope to have my photo taken with them, even though I'm not allowed in the club. So they go, oh... All right, this is Steve. They're having the photos taken, right? Camera phones and that. They're going into the club where the music, the party's kicking off. I'm outside waiting for the next chump who wants to have his photo taken. I mean, it was mental. So, um... That's unbelievable. I was furious. And then one guy, I remember he was he was chatting, and he, he goes, oh, yeah, brilliant. I love the podcast and all that stuff. I love Car Is Carl with you? I said, oh, Carl's not out here. And his girlfriend, she went, who's that? And he went, oh, this is Steve Merchant, he does the office, he does the thing. And she went, who, who cares? Who are you, Bruce Forsyth? And it's that thing when suddenly I'm being humiliated and embarrassed <laughs> by someone's girlfriend. I never asked for that. I never asked for her opinion on me. I'm sorry if I don't impress you, if I'm not sufficiently famous for you. But it's not my fault. It's your girlfriend who brought it up. It was like I'd gone over to her and tried to show off, and she was annoyed. I was, so by now, I was just furious. Oh, so God. I thought, forget this. Well, I was walking down the street, and there's a, a group of um, builders sitting down with a cup of tea. One of them goes, all right, Rick. I went, all right, mate. The other one went, not as fat as on telly. <laughs> I went, oh, thanks. 
Not as fat as on telly. So he went with, well, you are fat, but you look even fatter on telly. He didn't say, oh, God, you don't look fat at all, or, oh, you look, you, you, you look, you look big on telly, but you don't look... Just went with, not as fat as on telly. And but, there's nothing I could say, but cheers, mate. Now, when you said cheers, mate, cause you, did you say that because you were... Because I'd say cheers, mate, because I'd be a little bit scared of them. No, I was I'd just like slight sarcasm, and, you know, I laughed or I laughed or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, you can get away with sarcasm I'm, with working class blokes. I'm I a little could, bit more secure with a working class man no, than you, aren't I? I'm terrified of them. I feel like they're going to turn on me at any minute. You don't feel confident sort of backing in a lorry driver? Terrified. All oh, right. Because okay. if I did, he'd, le he'd probably lean out and just go, go and get your dad, mate. Yeah, not you. Fuck off, I'm not interested. Not you. Yeah. 